Good morning, welcome back to another exciting video. Exciting? Well, it's a video, that's for sure. I am in a lovely place called Manchester. You may have heard of it. It's where I'm from. Well, I'm from the south of Manchester, Stockport. Stockport is a bit posher than Manchester, it's not really, it's just, it's just the same. Well, let's see if the camera crashes again. I've filmed the intro three times. I waffled on loads, you probably saved yourself from that to be honest. After 200 so, yards, you have reached your destination, it is on your right. We are picking up from some kind of train place. Maybe it's train wheels we're picking up, I'm not too sure exactly what it is. But you it's have reached here on your the destination, right, Pottery Lane, it is on your right. Get out of the way of this ambulance. Right, where do we go? Uh, is this it here? I'm guessing so. Alright, let's park up along this fence line, he said, bring your details in and uh, Wi -Fi get sorted. Choo choo. Right, let's go and collect. Not too bad, I thought it's been waiting a while to be honest. Fourteen six, I'm only fourteen three. It's only 14 to this trailer. Uh, Lovely. Oh, I must have measured this trailer. Uh, <laughs> Winged it. <laughs> Where am I going? Over there, mate, yeah. Straight across now, yeah? Yeah, straight across, yeah. Choo choo. Where are we going left or right? Oh, I'm going here, I might be going here. I assume I'm going here, I don't know. This right spot here, mate. Oh, this is, on it. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, if you're on both sides open, are you just going to push it up across? Uh, Not much room on either side, I have to move over. Yeah, okay, mate. I must remember to shunt over otherwise I'll be going over rail lines, I don't want to do that. 
So, the, I don't know, again, some, some kind of engine parts are trained. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is, but they, they said they can't get to it right now. Um, so, I'll sit and wait. Um, I've just been speaking to Dav from Fifth Wheel Vlogs, another YouTuber, if you don't know who he is. Uh, go and check him out. And uh, he's done the same play, he's done the same collection. And they realised he's got a, a CB antenna sticking up. And uh, I'm not sure if it hit the overhead cables, but there's only three inches between the top of this truck and uh, the overhead cables. So um, I have a CB antenna sticking out, the t sticking out the roof of this cab, but it's folded over, it's bent over, so it's tucked underneath the actual uh, wind deflector. Um, so it's not sticking up. But I didn't even know it was coming under these cables. I didn't know it was coming under these lines. And even when it did come under the lines, I didn't register that I was underneath the lines. Um, so it's a good job it's folded down, really, isn't it? I mean, it could have been uh, could have been dangerous, that. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think apparently Dad says on his, on, when it happened to him, they had to get the health and safety people out, take pictures, do an instant report and all that stuff. Um, but I'm surprised that nobody asked if... Um, if there's any antenna sticking up, because I genuinely didn't know it was going to, going to be coming underneath high voltage cables. What are they, 25,000 volts for trains? So, I mean, that's my CB is right here next to my knee. Don't fancy anything arcing from that to my knee. Anyway, luckily it's folded down, so it's not an incident, but um, yeah. <laughs> Next time I pick it up from any, any train yard, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to ask them, is it going under any live cables? All the blokes who work here, they're all pretty sound. This one is Banks taking me back now. Banks doing the Banksman for me. He likes to lose near my house. That's how you want to do it. Big hand movements. Big hand movements so you can see it with the spot on. Cheers, mate. That, mate. Yeah. That's the best anyone's ever reversed over there. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. See you, mate. See you, mate. It's a platform that goes on rails, so I've had to apply the brakes on it so it doesn't roll out the back doors. Strapped it down anyway. Uh, it's a platform that they slide underneath the train um, and drop the gearbox, drop the engine on it. So, unless it's just gearbox, I can't see dropping an engine on a train. I mean, it's mostly electric motors, aren't they? I don't know, it's just gearbox. It's similar to with gearboxes. I'll, I'll go for gearboxes. Right, back to the yard. Right, so back to the yard. It's about, about I'm just going to go around the M6 
60. Go left on the roundabout and take the first uh, exit. M60 to the 60, 56. And then the M6 self indicators, please, where you're going, you're going right, I'm guessing. Too hard to put indicators on these days. Right back in my yard, I've undone the curtains because I was going to undo the straps and I realised it's on wheels, <laughs> so I better not undo the straps, otherwise they'd be going everywhere. But the curtains are still undone, just flapping around in the wind. So I'm going a bit slow, just uh, because it's the right thing to do. Uh, so I'm just going to drop this trailer off in our warehouse and uh, just want to unload it. So there's a, lot of, there's a lot of loose sprockets, I'm guessing gears they look like sprockets. Um, so I'm guessing it's out of, maybe out of a gearbox or some kind of chain driver or whatever, I don't know what it is. But uh, yeah, I double strapped them because it's on a tiny little pallet and there's a tiny bit of shrink wrap around it, but they've gone everywhere. Wow, the dust is real. Right, <coughs> let's get this in the warehouse. That's who this truck used to belong to, fellows. That definitely doesn't look dodgy. That's not our company, that by the way. You didn't know that we had a warehouse, did you? I shall go and pull my straps off it. Let me park it straight because that's just not professional. <laughs> that just looks awful. I blame the curtain flapping in the wind, that's what I'm going to do. Right, let's uh, go and get this unstrapped. We have the run, we've got the paperwork for the run, well, the uh, the run list for the Scotland and the first one is in East Kilbride uh, and then we've got ML which is a Motherwell postcode I think. All I've ever seen you, he's making a brew. You will arrive at your destination at 8 4 Right, there is my trailer. The time now is 6.20 p.m. Um, they they uh, it was delayed loading our driver. They loaded another driver first. They couldn't fit it all on that other driver, who happens to be going to Scotland as well. It's a different company. Uh, so I've got extra drop-on now, um, which I ain't going to get. I don't know what time it's for because it's handwritten. But uh, I certainly won't be getting in there any times that they've given me, and that ain't my fault. So, put the paperwork behind me, get hooked up to that trailer. It is a six hour drive. Let's get hooked up. Right, that is us on the move. 11.45 allegedly. 
ABS malfunction, that's a cruise control system malfunction. Oh, there you go, it's gone off. Some trailers do that. Immediately shows an error until you get moving, then it clears it. Where's on the scanners actually? I think the scanners. The scanner gets triggered by every one of our trailers. But there's nothing wrong with them because the Volvo's are fine, the DAF's fine, uh, the Renault's fine. So, anyway, we are now off. We're on the road. Probably going to park up in a. Well, I mean, I started work at 7.20 this morning, so I could actually finish work at 10.20 tonight to get me very close. But I'll drive till I get bored and that, that's Follow it. 838 Litchfield Road towards Derby I did, for 7.5 miles. Have a pick up. I did fuel up before earlier on. Um, I just wonder if it might have been better if actually I would have met this driver. I could have been, I could have. He could have dropped the trailer on the loading bay and I could have got under it and he could have been he could have been home sooner. But we're not to know really are we? Why is why is the car on the wrong side of the road? That was a bit weird. Good morning! Don't know if you can see me or not. Just woke up. Just made myself a coffee. I'll have them packed up. Eight hours and 40 minutes. We've got 20 minutes left before we can actually officially start work. Um, I don't even know what time it is now. What time was it? Eight and a half hours ago. Seven o'clock packed up last night. I've got the here's, the, here's the paperwork for the runs. I forgot what colours are what now, but whatever. They've put an extra run on it. So, that's, that's the page of drops. So, one drop, two drop, three drop, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, oh yeah, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Put an extra one on there. Twelve. Sorry, starting those. Twelve drops. Um, first one is for Motherwell. It's too. I don't. Know, I don't think it's going to be too bad. It's all Glasgow by the look of it. It's like. Let's go. Where's the second one after that, actually? We are finally here, the time is just before 10 a.m. On a long ass drive for the first thing in the morning. Uh, now I'm going to be faced with another problem because I think there's too much uh, so we're stuck on board. So when I open the back doors, I'm not sure how I'm going to un undo the net. So I'm going to turn right in here in a second, so I'm just letting these cars overtake by going slower. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how, how we deal with that in a, set, in a minute. <laughs> you have reached your destination. Let me just double check. Mate, what am I doing? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you said, what are we doing? <laughs> what's happened to this? Yeah, 14 wheelbarrows. Oh, they get a hump in the boy with a 40. Ah, uh, you just, no, they're all loose, mate. Are they? 
They're all loose and they're all piled up to the back door. So it's going to be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Where do you want me out of the way? All right, cheers, mate. He said, how are you doing? He said, what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, oh, God, <laughs> already. <laughs> well, I don't know if you can see that truck over there. That's, that's the one I've got his stuff on that couldn't fit on his lorry. Um, just been speaking to them, just comparing what we've what, what jobs we've got. One channel started. Right, the next Wi-Fi one. Enabled. Oh, it's getting a bit warm in here. Turn that down. Next one is oh, it's East Cub Ride. So B and M's. Uh, Kingsgate Retail Park. I think. I think I've been to that retail park before. Got it. All right, uh, I'd like to, some of these uh, wheelbarrows have fallen right. over a bit. At the end they're still the road, kind of stacked. Left. Not good parking there, folks. They're still turn kind left. of stacked. P7071, Road. They're not moving, famous last words, that, but. <laughs> See, it's gonna be one of them day. No, it's not. I'm gonna have a good day today. I'm not gonna let it annoy me every time I get hit in the head by a wheelbarrow. They slip after I just strap them all down. They come back out of place. They do what they want. I was pinning the ass out. It's keeping them neat for the next one. Once this next one comes off. All the because a lot of stuff has moved and slipped. So I think once this next one comes off, which I think is a B and Q, then Recording. One we've got pallets behind that, and I think it should be more or less back in order, as in like it's stacked properly. Once they start moving, you, you just can't stop them. I've put 20 million internal straps across the edges and stuff just to try and stop him from moving by the time I get to the next one. Oh, it's b and the next one. Lanark, ML5, that's Motherwell, isn't it? Uh, that, uh, that wheelbarrow, that green wheelbarrow. I'm not sure if I cut the clip or not, but there was a green wheelbarrow extra from the first drop. Um, I thought, it, they said they thought it was theirs, but I didn't give it to them because I thought, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, it turns out it was here, so good job I didn't really, isn't it? Right, we're at number two. Oh, no, yards, number three. Go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, Caldean Road. I'll probably uh, go I'll wait. right on the Shut roundabout up. and take the fourth exit. I'm waiting for the uh, some of the wheelbarrows to like the, the the load to go down a bit before I take the camera in the back because um, it's just a nightmare right now. <laughs> right on the roundabout and take. You have reached your destination, Tennant Street. Right, where is, is the gate? Is, is it that one straight facing? I imagine it would be. Does that road continue on the left, does it? I don't want to block that. Right, go and ring that bell. Yay! It's just what I want. More, ta more, more time wasting stuff. Have we got a phone number for them? Of course not. Hello and welcome to B and Q. We're open Monday to Saturday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Cool story, bro. Okay. Right. So as soon as I see them passing by me, I'll let you know. Okay. I'll let them know. All right. Thanks for your help. Right. Thank Cheers. you. Bye bye. Bye. There you go. I've got to wait now. Oh joy. I might as well put in the next one whilst I'm here. Done. It looks a lot neater in there now. Uh, 
There's another B&Q wagon behind me, so I'm gonna get out of here quickly, really, so we can get in. Nobody wants to be held up by another wagon. The guy who works here, absolutely sorted, dead, dead nice guy. Recording, one channel started. Wi-Fi enabled. He said you shouldn't be able to get a swing on it. Yeah, they're doing some work, so yeah, we'll get, we'll get a swing on that. We'll go this way. Watch the canopy. We're going this way because the trailer should be in the correct orientation by the time I uh, get to the direction I want to be, which is there. So they're a bit neater now. I put in the next one, didn't I? Yeah, 15 minutes away, happy days. After three right, hundred it yards, seems fast paced this morning. I like the next one already. You have, to take your car, please. you have reached your destination, South Vigor Road. Do we get in there? I'm not sure that's the right entrance for cars, so I'm just gonna get out of the way. And that wasn't the way in, so it's a good job, really. Uh, yeah, good pair to left. That's, I don't know why you give me some weird information. I'm here to help. Get to know Siri at apple.com. Right, what were you telling me that for? <laughs> yeah, there it is. Don't think I can turn, uh, stop anywhere though. Uh, let's go turn around down there then up behind this wagon here, I think I'll have to do that. Let's see if we can turn around down here. <coughs> back we go. I'm just going to have uh, to back up to Nancy Navin, a place for a wagon to turn around in the industrial area. Weirdly enough, after I've dropped the next one off, Probably only about two hours, two and a half hours behind the planned route. So as long as I get that B uh, B and Q off in Glasgow, PA fourteen. This is Glasgow, PA fourteen. As long as I get that off today, I'm happy with that. Right, he just said stick it in the middle. But he's giving me some stickers to put on it, and I get one of the boys to come over. So. Sounds like a plan to me. Well, that was it. I knew it would take ages here. That's an hour, an hour and a half to, for two pallets. They're all the same in these distribution centres. They just got their own pace. I don't, I don't understand how they work fully, so I can't, I can't say anything really. But I mean, 45 minutes before they even started coming to the wagon. Right, three o'clock. I'm not going to make. I'm not going to make the B&Q now. That's it. I've still got one, two, two before the two, and then the. Uh, the being cute, which I'm not going to make. But I can only try so much. And uh, I just had to restack everything because as soon as the pallets were removed, they've, they've done it, they've loaded turn it. Turn left, and then at the end of the road, turn right. Didn't cross brace it, but they left a massive gap between the wheelbarrows and the pallets. I mean, obviously, I couldn't see the collapse behind the pallets because the floor to ceiling and pallets, but um, yeah, I had to restack them. So, that took even more time. Uh, stop moaning now. 
Of course there's traffic. There's bound to be traffic. It's always the way for you in a rush. <sighs> Bad Bitch Bakes. That's an interesting name, isn't it? I'm guessing they do cakes or something. And she refers to herself as a bad bitch. So, uh, or he does. Bear left, then you have reached your destination. Right, keep me out for it now. Thank you. I did notice that a lot in the Glasgow area. I want to thank you. No one lets you win or out. Do what? You get the wagon tapped, yeah? Tapped? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some wheelbarrows, mate. Yeah, Right, run if you want, but I play right run. Will, will you get around, all right? So I, 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 I certainly use the blanket, because sometimes people, when you make those knees, you have to so you might make Right, okay. Straight up there, good lay. One here, Oh, is he? Right, okay, mate. I'll, uh, I'll try and stay out your way. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, I'm bloody warm. You will arrive at your destination at 3.36 p.m. The tips, you're loading me there, which could have been. There appears to be some uh, things missing from here, like a hundred uh, fifty uh, washing post things. I'm keeping calm. I'm keeping calm. So. <laughs> The way it was loaded, <coughs> I'm, I need something to eat, I'm not eating yet today. <coughs> the way it was loaded, and when it went to that one way, I had to wait 45 minutes and then it all fell down on that. So there's a stack of these poles, like for After 300 yards, washing go poles. Left on the roundabout Apparently, and the, first exit, the quantity to come off road. was 20, not 20 packs of five. So anyway, I thought, I counted them out, 20 packs. I thought that's what it was. And then there's more customer's goods, a different customer. And then Go there was left on the roundabout more and of the poles. The exit. So I'm not sure why, they didn't keep these four packs separate. And they just put them in with the 100 pack. Which way are you going, mate? Nice indicating. So I'm not sure why they, did, they, kept, they didn't keep them separate. Apparently they've got some things on there, some labels. So Cross anyway, the, the plan is now, I'm gonna... The first exit, Sandling Road. I'm gonna try and get this B&Q done. I know, I know that air crave will be 24 hours. If I've got enough driving time, I'll go back there. Pick After 300 the rest of them yards, back up. go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A seven thirty seven. Drop them off there first thing in the morning, and then carry on with the rest of the day. That's the plan. But I'd really like just to chill out for five minutes actually and get something to eat. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. I can feel myself self starting to get wound up. It's just been a. I understand that way. What the? What's that? I think I've gone the wrong way. 
After 100 uh, yards, bear right yeah, towards long stay, then um, keep right. I mean, Glasgow Airport. Bear right, then keep right. Let's get out right. of here. <laughs> um, yeah, keep I can feel right, myself getting wound up. Cross the roundabout um, and take the second I'm constantly exit. chasing my tail. There's days where it just gets like that and it's just, there's nothing you can do. Um, right, that's that tipped on. I'm going to go to the B&Q, deliver right, that. Basketball road. And then I'm going to head Slow back over to the pipe down there. I'm not interested. Don't eight, care. J22 and M8, J17, J18. How many J's does it take to get in traffic? It's a good time you get in it. Uh, 25 minutes away, allegedly 15 miles for this uh, b and uh, So I'm going to get this one off today and then go into run back to go and get the goods that was at the wrong place. Apparently there's some labels on there, so anyway, I've asked him to call a company and basically pull them to one side. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get back there today because I started work at 3.50 a.m. After 300 yards, go right on uh, the roundabout so and take I've the got third exit, A761, Linwood Road. Uh, six, no, 350, 4.55, 6, 6.50, which is 15 hours. Um, driving time, right on the 2 hours and 38 and minutes. The third exit. So we might, we might be able to get there back there tonight pick up them goods I'll probably just immediately park up because it's quite a decent sized industrial estate that actually <sighs> that was done how long did that take uh, <coughs> 10 minutes Well, that's a long day done. Um, yeah, did a bit of morning in this video, didn't I? It's all good though, it's all good. I've recovered the uh, items that I left. Uh, yeah, I blame myself really. I mean, it wasn't before. I do blame myself. However, things could have been a little bit better. Um, what's the word? Stored on the trailer, loaded better. It was just a little bit confusing, and I wasn't thinking straight. And I just, do you know what? I'm just going to move forward a bit because I don't like. I'm on a bit of a bend here, so I'm going to move forward a bit. What time is it now? Six. I had 45 minutes left. Well, 44 minutes left of. Um, working time so I couldn't have gone anywhere from here I'm glad to get a change get a wash get something to eat um, I think I'm just gonna order some food you know um, I'll order it to this factory here on the left and just say I'm outside in the truck either that or this place here Let's see what happens anyway I need to sort the cab out uh, I need to strap down those what I've just picked up it's literally the next door there um, Unmarked policeman, unmarked police car with the policeman. Good to know. Uh, so I need to strap that down, then open the back doors. Um, don't know what this industrial estate's like. If it's, it's very quiet, there's no other sort of trucks on here. Could be a good thing or a bad thing. But uh, yeah. anyway, food. Catch you in the morning.